Okay, the uh, contingency sample is uh, down. One of the biggest challenges in space exploration is acquisition of samples. Apollo astronauts on their missions, they collected hundreds of pounds of rocks. They had all these scoops, raking devices. To send uh, Apollo astronauts to the moon cost over $100 billion. We don't have this kind of money. Normally, if you were to acquire a sample, the uh, standard operating procedure is to deploy uh, a scoop or a small drill at the end of a robotic arm. What Planet Deck does is removes all this complexity. How does one make a vacuum cleaner in a vacuum? You know, obviously, a vacuum cleaner works by sucking up the atmosphere around it. Uh, when there is no air present, you know, what do you do? You need to inject your own atmosphere, essentially. It's sort of like when you, when you go with kids to a restaurant. A waitress brings in a straw. When I was young, I would stick the straw into a ball of sugar and blow in. And the sugar would fly straight into my face. My parents weren't happy about it. But this is exactly the same process. You can capture this flying sugar and divert it to a sample return container. For a robotic arm, there's a motor, there's a gearbox, there are bearings, there are seals. Each one of those joints is a potential failure point. Uh, in a system like this, there's practically no moving parts. It's all passive, it's driven by a spring, there are no motors, no actuators. You know, you'd be looking at a, a mere fraction of the cost. The, the tube essentially embeds itself below the regolith and during the process of deployment, soil gets pushed up into the sampling tube. We close it, we fly home. Three, two, one. If you look at what's happening right now, the paradigm is changing. There are some of the private companies trying to develop this as cheaper, you know, uh, smaller technologies. The big spacecrafts are something of the past. 